Ellen. She's the widow of the late great restaurateur Charlie Trotter. But what you might not know is she's a culinary powerhouse herself. So please welcome Rochelle Trotter. I'm so blessed. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to have so you here. To see you. You yes. know, what, you know, everybody knows that you're married to Charlie Trotter, but I think, like I just said in the intro, you have your own background in the culinary yes. world, and it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. How did you get um, into it? I went to culinary school in Paris way before I met Charlie, but my business degree is uh, in international economics and finance from Northwestern. That's where my MBA is. So I was on the business side of restaurants when I met him, and we made our love connection. And uh, it was just. <laughs> interesting that we're both like into food and since his passing you know I've been on this journey of like yes. rediscovering like the next best me right. after him and uh, so I've been on this health and wellness journey to find a way for God to use me for a gift that's greater than myself and so I'm taking all of my knowledge with nutrition and cooking and everything right. and I'm focused on sugar-free um, because that's what's killing most of our people sure. diabetes and obesity and so I'm really happy to announce that on June 1st yeah. I'll be doing my first um, online wellness sugar-free challenge called all sugar which is <laughs> <laughs> Sugar. Yeah, because that's what my grandmother used to say when we wanted something and we couldn't have it. She would say, oh, sugar. Oh, sugar, you know? no. So huh? I'm saying y'all ain't going to be able to have sugar, but unlike restrictive programs, I'm going to teach you how to replace it. So this is where my culinary side is going to come in. Right. You know what I mean? So for instance, like one of the, the ideas that I made for you today, yeah. normally I would glaze strawberries in sugar, like simple yeah. syrup, sugar mm -hmm. and water, mm -hmm. but instead I use fresh squeezed orange. Okay. Um, as sweetness. So, and what do you think? Back to the sugar debate. Yes. You know, uh -huh. Because there have been some people, experts have come on the show and say, you know, you shouldn't even eat the sugar and fruit. I know. That's insane. Listen, if God grew it, then we should be able to eat it. I think it's the refined stuff, the processed stuff, okay, okay. that are, that's, is foreign to our bodies, right? Okay. And so I am not one that will say you can't have fruit. Vegetables even have sugar sure. in them, okay? But I want natural sugars natural you're okay sugars. with. Yeah, because you're typically getting that in its natural form with fiber. And so it helps slow down the way that your body processes it so that your insulin isn't spiking so your blood sugar isn't going nuts. And mm -hmm. you know what happens when you create too much insulin, your body doesn't have anywhere to put it. Right. So your liver takes what it can use for energy and guess what? The rest yeah. turns to fat. Yes. And, and women, particularly women over 40, we have an issue here, we have an issue here, yes. you know. And so these are the types of things, knowledge really is power. And yeah. these are the types of things that I'm really passionate to be able to teach people how to sugar free your life. You still right. sweet enough already. <laughs> <laughs> how, how often will your online series be? Um, how can um, we catch it, it? it? So you can find it at www.rochelletrotter.com. There's a place where you can sign up for it. And if you sign up for it before May 15th, you get my seven-week detox program free, which is a $99 value. Okay. Well. So well, yeah, And it'll happen every month. It'll happen every month. So I'm launching the business with sugar, but I'll have things focused on, you know, beat the belly bloat, um, mm -hmm. you know, say bye to cellulite, all that kind of stuff. I'm really focused primarily on women. But but the sugar-free stuff is for everyone, and my goal is if women and moms learn this, then they'll start to cook and prepare things this way for their family. Yeah, and pass it along. Let's talk about what you've done today with our <laughs> Alessi products. Yes. You had a challenge, and it looks like you passed. Yeah, I hope so. So I wanted to do untraditional things, um, and so I did an appetizer. So I'm saying spring fling, like this is a party, mm -hmm. right? So I did um, an appetizer with crostini with the goat cheese, which was a okay. protein, and I marinated the strawberries in some fresh orange juice and a little balsamic. Mm. Um, and then the mint also has a glaze on it. So and mint is very good for you. It's very healthy very for you. Healthy for you. Yeah. It really is good for your circulation system. We had a little time towards the end, and so I just did a quick balsamic reduction vinaigrette with some of those beautiful um, peppers that were left over, because th these are great party foods that will taste really good and I'm kind of a germaphobe so I don't like eating out of the same plate with people poking after me so you can make this little individual cup Oh, that's a good idea. Quite oh, you should right? your own over there. Yeah, you didn't want you me to dip into yours, huh? No, I did. I saw you looking at me like, no, uh, uh this one is mine. Yes, and then, um, and so that uses the balsamic. So the, the soup, you know, I love serving things in different, like, heights and whatever mm -hmm, at parties. Mm -hmm. And so for people to have their own individual soup, this is my riff on uh, grilled cheese and tomato. Yes. It is completely, completely vegetarian, unless you, like, count the vegetable stock and little chicken stock I used, okay? But you can use <laughs> water if you want to. Um, but it's, this is where I use the, guess what, y'all? The yeah. breadcrumbs. Oh, use the, the breadcrumbs? I use the breadcrumbs as a natural thickener instead of using heavy cream. There you go. See, because I grew up always thinking about breadcrumbs as breading on top of something right. and making a cutlet. And I was like, protein, I'm not about to bread some goat cheese. Probably <laughs> could have. And then I just made a little um, 
And the sauce on top is yeah. sour cream, again, instead of heavy cream. And that's where I used, I used some of the pesto in the soup. But I also used the pesto, um, mixed it with the leftover sour cream, cut the corner out of a uh, and made a bag, and made a drizzle on the top. So you mix that all together and dip with your um, grilled cheese breadstick. And it's fabulous. And who doesn't like popcorn? So I love popcorn. So, and so, like, low calorie, a fun treat that you can have at parties. And so I like to put everything on my popcorn at the movies. And my friends are like, did you put jalapenos on there? I'm like, yep. I put pickle juice on my popcorn. No so way. Yes, but we talked before about how the benefits of pickle juice. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're really good. Curve your cravings and everything. And, um, and so I made a balsamic butter, and that's what's on top of this popcorn. So I hope you try it and you like it. Okay, yeah, try balsamic everything. butter. Balsamic I try butter. everything. Yeah. 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 Mm. That's so, really good. So the sweet, salty kind yeah. of there. I couldn't, if I had some cinnamon, I'd sprinkle a little cinnamon on one. This is there, which definitely is really more good. sweet than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Shell, thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen thank today. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Our friends at Alessi Foods wanted to send you home with this great collection of their products. Thank you so much. Your Yay. feedback is coming up next. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.